So it's no secret that the career span of the average rapper is extremely short. I'm not saying that you can't keep rapping, I'm just saying it's hard to keep the attention of an audience month after month, much less year after year. It's almost like playing in the NFL. Because in the back of your head you know that there will always be younger, more athletic players coming in where you are likely aging past your prime. And for rappers you have to hope that you are making the kind of music that will either pop off and play on the radio, or you exist within a bubble that is your cult following. Because you don't necessarily have to be the most commercially successful to sustain a career where you can keep the lights on. You just have to be smart, not sign stupid deals, and feed your fan base. But sadly that's not the case for a lot of these types of rappers, and for some of them they become what you call in music a one hit wonder. Think of guys like Gold Link, Salento, I Love McConan, amongst many, many more. And while you might get your 15 minutes in the sun, a lot of these rappers are left for the rest of their careers chasing that one hit. Like dude at this point you're really just a regular guy with face tattoos, going to the studio every single day trying to replicate that lightning in a bottle, and it just doesn't happen. One of the biggest one hit wonders in recent time was rapper Designer, who caught fire back in 2016 with his smash hit Panda. If you were outside during that time, you would know how lit people got to this damn song. And while some critics were already writing him off as nothing more than a future clone, others saw major promise in his music, including Kanye West, who was arguably making some of his best music at the time. This was around the era that he was making The Life of Pablo, and he would even use the chorus from Panda on his song Father Stretch My Hands Part 2, making the designer track even more iconic. With Designer only being around 18 years old at this time, he was absolutely elated when all these different record labels would essentially have a bidding war over him after the success of Panda. Sound of good music? Mm -hmm. You've been in the studio with Kanye yeah, West. Yeah, yeah. People who have been in the game for years can't say that. Mm. What was that moment like for you? You sitting, chilling, doing designer. Here come Kanye, like, let's turn up, let's put this song out. Man, listen, man, I'm bugging right now. It was crazy. It was crazy. I was in the 11 label bidding war. 11? 11 labels. Are they even 11, 11 labels out there to 11 bid labels, on you? They? 11, 11 <laughs> labels, all of them was going nuts. You feel me? Some of them gave it to me. Some of them was like, ah, let's see our parents do. And you feel me? Like, they lost. They lost what they did, though. You feel me? Like, but I'm in a great, you feel me? In a great squad. He had become a force in the industry overnight. And like I said, one of these people who would take notice was Kanye, who would fly him out to Los Angeles and offer him the opportunity to sign with his record label, Good Music, who had a decent track record when it came to their artists like Kid Cudi and Big Sean. On. So Designer was ready to become a part of the Good Music family, and he specifically chose to sign with them over some other more established labels because he was thinking he would be working closely with Kanye West and saw him as a mentor. This actually seems like a common thought in hip hop, as we all remember when Chance said, I met Kanye West, I'm never going to fail, and then dropped some hot ass garbage. And it's another one of those things where it would seem like a highlight of his life and his career to sign with the Good Music record label and work with Kanye directly, but he actually might as well have signed the death certificate on his career. Within months of dropping Panda, Designer would land himself a spot on the 2016 XXL freshman class, back when it still had some sort of relevance. If it wasn't this, if it wasn't nothing else, I, I was gonna be outside still doing music, you feel me? So it was just like, this was my only way and my only way out. Oh, this is a notch on the belt. This is this is history, you know? Yeah, this is dope. Like, yeah, I love it, man. I love this shit. My bad for cutting you off, but I love this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like this this is this is everything, you feel me? Like waking up in the morning knowing you got something else to do or something else to lay down, you feel me? Another another melody in your head is it's great, you feel me? Like I love it. Like, this was actually a really good year for Double XL, and that's where he would drop this legendary freestyle. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner, he would wish you for a burner. To kill anybody walking, you know that it's on the burner. Now, at the time, a lot of people were clowning him for this, but it would actually end up being the second biggest song of his career when he would eventually release it officially on his debut album, New English. Kanye would even hop on and throw a verse on the tail end of the remix to Timmy Turner. So at this point, Designer had bet on himself, and he had won. Speaking of bets, I have to tell you about today's video sponsor, DraftKings. So the NBA playoffs are really heating up right now, and if you're anything like me, it's always just a little bit more fun to watch when I got something on the line. Luckily, today's video sponsor, DraftKings, is bringing all the high-stakes playoff action to all new customers, as they are currently offering all new customers $150 in bonus bets if your pre-game money line wager of $5 hits. 
Yes, you heard me right. You bet $5 on a pregame wager. And if it hits, you get $150 in bonus bets on DraftKings. And if you want to up the action, you can even try DraftKings Same Game Parlays, where you can combine multiple bets from the same game into one big bet for a shot and even bigger payout. Even if mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, you can still have fun with DraftKings Fantasy, where they offer cash prize contests for nearly every sport. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app today. New customers use promo code Jamari. Bet just $5 on any pregame wager and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly if that $5 bet cashes. Once again, that's promo code Jamari, only at DraftKings. So everything was going to plan at this point. This man designer had a very infectious positive energy about himself. <laughs> they made you want him to win. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling crazy. You know how I did feel like I'm trying to chill. I'm trying to not sweat in the outfit. You feel me? Like, I'm just going crazy right now. You know how I did feeling good, but mainly humble. Keeping my blessings to the top of the skies, you know how it is, man. Much love. At this point, Panda was still a somewhat hot record, and some of his other songs from his debut album were also gaining traction. But this is when the problems with good music really began, as not only designer, but other artists on the label would begin to express their frustration with the way their careers were being handled. Now, what do you think about Kanye with everything that's going on with him and, the, and wearing the Make America Great Again hat and loving Donald Trump? Being Charlemagne and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just pray for his best, you know, to him. To pick the best choices like as a fan you know like i like i was trying to figure out like your damn why designer in, in certain conversations or in certain places and i used to say man good music probably not allowing him to move how he he he, he want to move and not allow him to drop music how he want to drop music yeah it was, it was were, were those weird, any were, were those things that that, that 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 are different from now where now you feel a little bit more free or like just tell me what's changed that as a fan i could be like okay shit about to be different for sure, I feel good to be free, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. In short, they all basically felt handicapped instead of empowered by good music, and like they were not receiving the attention they were promised when they were originally signed. On top of that, Kanye was spiraling into all his BS on a daily basis. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. Basically, designer felt left in the dark, and to top this off, he started going through some personal problems with his family. In specific, his father's health began to deteriorate, which seems to have destroyed him mentally. At the time, he recalls that he had no way to get into contact with Kanye West, and it seems like he felt hopeless in the face of losing many people who meant the world to him. From here, he would release less and less music and begin to lose relevance at a very fast pace as the hype of Panda and Timmy Turner had long died down. To make matters worse, his mental health would continue to decline, as he would sadly lose his father and grandfather within the same year. In 2018, he would release an EP called LOD, an acronym for Life of Designer, which would receive a fraction of the attention as his previous album. Now, now have you felt pressure? Because, you know, Panda was the number one record, it was a big record, hey, hey, and hey. it was hard to catch another one. <laughs> Do you feel like you kind of had to go backwards? Because you come out, you put a record out, it blows up. So it's like you get a lot of perks that a lot of new artists don't get. But then when the next records come out and they don't pop as big, then you got to like really go on the grind kind of. No, nah, it's not really going. Are just you still with good music? Heck yeah, of course, man. All day, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I just was talking to Push about getting a puppy, you know what I'm saying? It's like he was always putting on a nice face for the camera. Don't get me wrong. He had made his money, but it still hurts to not get that next hit, no matter how hard you try, and know that every single day you're just sliding like a car going backwards on a hill into irrelevance. And he would mostly stay silent for the next couple of years, leaving good- So his name had really cooled off. From here, he would release singles independently from his new record label, LOD. And this was around the time that COVID hit and the world essentially shut down. And like many other artists, it drove him further into irrelevance, as most people felt a serious lack of creative inspiration during this time for being stuck inside all day. And it wasn't until 2022 when he would make headlines yet again after the death of his friend and fellow rapper PMB Rock in September of last year. And then only around a month later, tragedy would once again strike with the death of Migos group member Takeoff, who was also his very good friend. This news would result in what appeared to be a mental breakdown from designer, who would announce he was done with rapping. I swear to God, it said ain't nothing. I'm done rap. I'm done rap. This version of me is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. I took take off, bro. It's done.
<laughs> Y'all wanted it, it's over. I can't live like this no more. I'll be right. I'll be take off. It's truly sad to see the effects these deaths had on him, and it's easy to see how everything spiraled so quickly. And I, I felt like for a while there, like you kind of might have been done with music, man. Yeah, but uh, I were, um, they had one of, uh, one of me, man. I had one of losing like three friends in a month and all that shit, big cat. And, um, Word, it just like, you know what I mean, hit me. So obviously at this point, Designer has had a promising but very underwhelming career. And for someone who really came into the game all about positivity and manifestation, it's sad to see that he never really felt that same embrace from the industry. Shout out little Yachty, Rick Ross, you dig what I'm saying? Shout out my mans, man, everybody who's out here who's just turning up, man. Jay Crince, man, coming out of Brooklyn, young guy. And just everybody, man, y'all know how we do it, man. Yeah. This happens to a lot of rappers who seem to really want that acceptance from hip hop. And when they pop, off but don't get that love it really hurts them you like what did you learn from your previous label situation that you're you can apply to your career now what i'm moving with now is just really just like just a teamwork you know what i mean just if i'm saying like word you know what i mean respectfully yeah. you know what i mean to not no offense to the other team that i was with former team i was with but just the team love if i'm saying it's more of a like compassion it's more of a like we we talk together mornings they checking in you know what i'm saying it's bigger than just music with them, you know what I mean? It's a family. Combine that with losing several loved ones, and it's no surprise that his mental health took a serious hit. Still, he was back grinding, trying to make another anthem. And now we fast forward all the way to today, where Designer has been charged with indecent exposure while 30,000 feet in the air. You see, he was flying from Tokyo back to the States, and they caught this man choking his chicken. Flight attendants on the plane noticed what he was doing, and when they asked him to stop, he said no. This resulted in a misdemeanor, and obviously a very embarrassing arrest for the fallen rapper. In response to this, he tweeted out, For the past few months I have not been okay, and I've been struggling to come to terms with what is going on. While overseas for a concert I performed at, I had to be admitted into a hospital, I was not thinking clearly, they gave me meds, and I had to hop on a plane home. I am ashamed of my actions that happened on that plane, I landed back in the States, and am admitting myself into a facility to help me. I will be cancelling all of my shows and any obligations until further notice. Mental health is real, guys. Please pray for me. If you're not feeling like yourself, please get help. And while what he did was obviously disgusting, it's sad to see how far this man has fallen. He's always been someone who tried to promote positivity, and it's clear that all might have been some sort of coping mechanism for the demons that he's been fighting. I just really hope at this point he does get the help he needs. I mean, obviously someone doing something that thoughtless with as much to lose as designer must really be in a dark place. But y'all let me know what you guys think about his career at this point. Do you think he will ever break past that one hit wonder status once and for all? Or do you think this will officially be a wrap on his career? As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy Tan Superman. And some other rappers out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace. Yo, for real, man, for all them haters out there, man. I don't want to hear all this shit, designer fell off. Designer never fell nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I fell into a motherfucking mansion I just bought in L.A.